United States Army military specialist. After I got out of the military, moved up here. I've lived here since that time, over 35 years. Alaskan Black Pyramid. Is it possible that beneath the icy land of Alaska lies a secret so profound it could rewrite the very fabric of history? There are rumors of a secret military project and connections to aliens involving a mysterious pyramid. Today, we will be trying to understand this secret place, but it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. Join us as we reveal the whistleblower who exposed the Alaska Black Pyramid. Chapter 1. Alaskan Waves a huge old pyramid is hidden under Alaska's cold ground. People are whispering about a secret cover-up, maybe even by the army. Some believe it's connected to aliens. On a notable day, May 21, 1992, China conducted an enormous underground nuclear test. The explosion was so powerful that its shock waves were detected all the way in the United States. These seismic waves uncovered something peculiar beneath the surface near Anchorage, Alaska, hinting at an anomaly that caught the attention of scientists. Fast forward about six months, and a man named Douglas A. Muckler, who was serving in Army intelligence, stumbled upon a news broadcast while he was in Alaska. The report revealed an astonishing discovery of a colossal pyramid hidden in the vicinity of Alaska's tallest peak, Mount McKinley. Douglas found this particularly fascinating because he recalled a mysterious blank spot on a military map coincidentally located where the news indicated the pyramid was found. He attempted to record the news segment for future reference, but mysteriously, all information regarding the pyramid seemed to vanish without a trace. Imagine the shock and curiosity of discovering that there's a hidden pyramid in your vicinity, only for all evidence of such a discovery to suddenly disappear. Douglas endeavored to dig deeper, but it was as though the news report had never existed. This enigmatic story stirs the imagination, doesn't it? It leaves us pondering about the secrets that might be concealed beneath the icy expanses. Could ancient civilizations have constructed this pyramid? Or is it possible that alien visitors left it behind as some sort of monumental, enigmatic energy source? The prospect of uncovering a hidden chapter of history or establishing a connection with extraterrestrial life is undeniably thrilling. But this tale of the Alaskan Pyramid goes beyond the mere existence of a concealed structure. It encompasses hidden military activities and the potential of advanced technologies that we can barely comprehend. Imagine the implications of discovering an energy source so powerful that it could revolutionize our way of life, or finding evidence of ancient or alien civilizations that challenge everything we know about our history and place in the cosmos. This story isn't just about unraveling a mystery, it's about pushing the boundaries of our understanding and possibly uncovering secrets that could have profound implications for our future. The following day, Douglas, filled with curiosity and determination, What I am about to tell you is classified on the highest level of security in our federal government. Made his way to a local TV station, he was on a mission to obtain copies of certain news segments that had been aired not too long ago. These weren't just any news stories. They were about a discovery so monumental that Douglas couldn't just let it go. Upon arrival, Douglas approached the staff, hoping for some assistance. However, he was met with a baffling response. The person overseeing the station firmly stated that the news story Douglas was asking about had never been broadcasted on their channel. Moreover, they claimed to have no knowledge whatsoever about the subject. This left Douglas standing in a puddle of confusion and disbelief. How could a story he knew had aired suddenly become non-existent? Just as Douglas was processing this denial, a flicker of hope appeared. A station employee, someone working behind the scenes possibly as a technician, approached him discreetly. This individual revealed a startling truth. The news segment had indeed been aired. However, in a turn of events that seemed like something out of a spy movie, two mysterious men had shown up at the station shortly after the broadcast. These men, strangers to the station staff, collected and removed all video footage and recordings of the news story. Furthermore, 
the station's higher-ups had issued a strict directive to all employees to never speak of the broadcast again. Driven by an even stronger desire to uncover the truth, Douglas decided to reach out to Linda Moulton Howe, a reporter known for her willingness to delve into the depths of unexplained mysteries. Linda, intrigued by Douglas's story, began her investigation. It wasn't long before she received a phone call from an individual insisting on anonymity. This caller shared a riveting tale about his father, a man who had served in the Navy before being recruited for a highly classified project in Alaska. Let's follow Douglas as he digs into a mystery that blurs the line between reality and secrets. Chapter 2. Two Unknown Men This work was about a huge pyramid under the ground, believed to be able to make a lot of energy. His dad was given the job to figure out how this big pyramid could make so much power. He knew about the pyramid and what it could do, but he couldn't talk about it to anyone because the work was very secret. The story made everything seem more mysterious and seemed to say that something big was being hidden. It looked like there might be some kind of new technology or information that most people don't know about. The fact that everything about the pyramid was kept secret, the fast way they got rid of any news about it, and the way unknown people were keeping the story quiet made it seem like this finding was really important, but also very protected. It could change how we think about old times, how we make energy, and maybe even how these kinds of buildings were first made. Douglas now wanted to find out more than just the simple facts. He wanted to uncover a story that mixed together secrets from the military, old kinds of technology, and a strong need to find out the truth, even when it's hard. Douglas really wanted to know more now, especially after what happened at the TV station. At first, they said the news story wasn't true, but then, secretly, they said it was. This showed there were many secrets, and maybe a big discovery at the heart of it. When Douglas found out from a worker that two unknown men took all the videos about the story, it made everything even more mysterious. This could mean that very powerful groups were involved, maybe groups that can control what information gets out to everyone. Douglas now had a lot of questions. Who were these men and what kind of power did they have? Why did they want to keep this story quiet? He thought about what the pyramid being real could mean and how far some groups might go to keep it hidden. Getting rid of all proof and stopping people from talking about it. The dark pyramid is this massive pyramidal structure under Mount Denali. Showed that this wasn't just finding something old, but it might be connected to keeping the country safe, new kinds of technology, or even things we don't understand in science yet. Douglas felt he needed to find out the truth. He knew this wasn't a normal investigation. It would need careful thought, keeping things quiet, and help from people who are open to new ideas in science and history. The pyramid may be connected to energy sources we don't know about or old civilizations was a puzzle that could make us question what we think is true and show us new things about how people lived a long time ago or what kind of technology they had. Douglas thought about talking to experts in old things, history, and different ideas who could help him learn about where the pyramid came from and why it was made. All the other pyramids on planet Earth were designed uh, to, to look like. He also knew he had to find more evidence, maybe finding stories like this that were kept quiet, or seeing how information about big discoveries is usually controlled. For Douglas, this wasn't just about his own interest. It was about a bigger fight for knowing things and being open when there are forces that want to keep us from knowing about big discoveries. As he got more into this puzzle, he got ready for the hard things he would face, knowing that learning the truth about this hidden pyramid could change how he sees the world and maybe change how people live. Linda Moulton Howe, a journalist good at looking into mysteries, got interested in a story from someone she didn't know. This story hinted at a big secret about old times and technology. It was about a powerful pyramid hidden in Alaska that could make energy. This discovery made her wonder a lot. How did the pyramid make energy? Who made it? And for what reason? As Linda found out more about the pyramid, she became more curious. 
During his search, Douglas met Bruce Pearson, who had a family story that added to the mystery. Bruce talked about his dad, Bruce Sr., who fought in World War II and later moved to Alaska. In 1978, Bruce Sr. found out about secret things happening in Alaska that suggested there were hidden buildings and new technology. The story Bruce Sr. told his son made it seem like the secrets in Alaska were very old, maybe going back many years or even hundreds of years. This suggested a long history of hidden information and secret projects. Our exploration dives deeper, revealing hidden truths through secret calls and whispers. Chapter 3 the dark secret of the DEW line. Linda and Douglas found themselves in a situation much bigger than they first thought. They weren't just looking into a modern mystery, but they were discovering a story that mixed together old wars, ancient buildings, and the search for energy sources that people today don't fully understand. The idea of this pyramid being real was amazing. If it was true, it could change what we think we know about people from long ago. It might make us rethink how we make energy, and even question what we've been told about history. Their search to figure out the truth about this pyramid in Alaska turned into a trip back in time. They had to put together different stories from people like Bruce Pearson. Each story added a small part to the big picture. These stories hinted at a secret past of human success, and maybe even help from beings from other planets. As Linda and Douglas went deeper into their research, they saw how complicated it was. They had to work through a maze of secrets kept by the military, old stories, and new scientific discoveries. Every new thing they learned brought up more questions, but the chance to find out something big and important kept them going. Finding out the truth about the pyramid could reveal unknown parts of human history and show us new ways of making energy and technology. Back in the late 1970s, Bruce Sr., who used to be in the Navy during World War II, had made a new life in Alaska. There, he became friends with an Air Force pilot. This pilot had also been in the war, serving on a boat that hunted enemy ships. They became close friends because of their shared military experiences. They would often talk about their brave acts, the strong friendships they made, and the hard times they went through. Their friendship grew, and the Air Force pilot asked Bruce Sr. to help with a special job. Bruce was told it was a simple task, to take some machine parts to a place in Alaska. At first, Bruce thought it was just a regular job to help with the upkeep of the DEW line. The DEW line was a big network of radar stations built in the 1950s. It stretched from Alaska all the way to Greenland. There are 15 long-range radar sites in Alaska stretching from Kaktovik. Its main job was to spot any nuclear threats from the Soviet Union early on, which was very important for keeping North America safe during the Cold War. But as Bruce got ready for the job, he started to think there was more to it. The secrecy around the job and the few details his friend gave him made him think it might be something top secret. This made Bruce very curious. He thought about how Alaska was important not just for radar watching, but maybe for other secret military or science projects. The DEW line was a big deal in the military. It showed off the advanced technology and the big political fights of the Cold War. The radar systems were set up in very remote and tough places in the Northern Hemisphere. They were there to spot enemy planes and missiles early, which was key for protecting a lot of people in case of a nuclear war. Bruce's job of taking parts to a secret place in Alaska showed how complicated and big military operations can be. It also made him wonder what else the military might be doing in Alaska, beyond what people knew about, like the DEW line. Were there other secret projects hidden in Alaska's big wilderness? What role did these projects have in keeping the country safe and in exploring new things in science? As Bruce and his pilot friends started their job, it was a chance for Bruce to see how hard it is to work in such a far-off and important part of the world. It also showed how Alaska was a key place in the Cold War, with important bases and projects for the United States defense. Though it seemed simple, this job opened Bruce's eyes to the big and complicated work of being ready for war, making new technology, and the strategies of countries in the world. 
It was a reminder of all the unseen work to keep peace and safety in a time when people were scared of a nuclear war. Bruce Sr. was really interested in this job his Air Force pilot friend offered. It seemed easy enough, just taking parts for an important project in Alaska. This project, even though it was surrounded by mystery, was thought to be part of the DEW line installations, a series of radar systems across North America's north. Every twist and turn leads Douglas to more mysteries, urging us to look even closer. Chapter 4. Inside the Black Pyramid Bruce's job was to deliver something simple, but it turned into a wild trip into the unknown. This made him think about old civilizations, what they could do, and if they knew things that could change how we see the world. The pyramid was in a far-off, important place, famous during a big past conflict. It seemed like it could hide big secrets or important old stories that no one had found yet. The helicopter pilot shared an amazing secret with Bruce. He said there was an ancient building that made lots of energy, enough to power up a big area in Alaska and even reach Canada. But things got complicated. As they flew closer, their helicopter started to act weird. The instruments went crazy, the radar stopped working, alarms were going off, and the compass spun wildly. They had to fly just by looking out the window. When they got there, Bruce saw interesting things. They were carrying three heavy metal cases, made really well. Another plane followed them the whole way to make sure they were safe. They landed in a snowy place with a few buildings, a small office, a fuel storage, and a garage. But there was more. This place was ready for snow, with special snow vehicles, underground lifts for mines, and strong security like electric fences and watchtowers. This wasn't just about an old energy-making building. It was a top-secret and well-planned site, probably doing big energy work, like the pilot said. The security showed how important and sensitive this was. Even though their trip had problems, the other plane and careful planning showed how big this energy source could be. Around the area, guards in black with big guns were everywhere. There were also vehicles with big guns, watching the place. The pilot told Bruce these guards might be from a secret government group, but he wasn't sure. Years later, Bruce Sr. was eating dinner with a top engineer from Bell Labs. The engineer said his vacation got pushed back because he had to check a weird power place in Alaska. This made the mystery even bigger. The story got more surprising when a woman contacted Linda a few years later. She said she could do remote viewing, seeing far-off places in her mind. She saw the same pyramid-like building that Bruce Sr. talked about. She described a hidden place with a mining elevator, electric fences and warning signs, just like Bruce saw. This woman told how a group, led by someone not quite human, went deep into this site. They went downstairs to another elevator, going about 150 feet down to a room full of computers, and a big window showing the pyramid. She thought the pyramid was special, pulling energy from the earth and acting like a huge energy transformer. She believed UFOs could use this energy, flying over the pyramid to recharge. This idea added more mystery, suggesting the pyramid was part of a big system with unknown tech and maybe even spaceships. Our story turns wild, where a simple mission uncovers ancient secrets and hidden tech. Chapter 5. Mount McKinley Nuclear Test In the vast icy wilderness of Alaska, under the huge and impressive Mount McKinley, there's a secret that's as old as the Earth itself. This secret, a mysterious sight, was hidden from everyone until something totally unexpected happened. After China did a nuclear test, something that seemed totally unrelated, it somehow managed to rip open the Earth's surface. What was discovered because of that has caught the attention of all sorts of people from different backgrounds, people who work in the military, experienced reporters, curious engineers, and even those with a special talent called remote viewing. This talent allows them to see places and things far away without being there physically. The discovery made people wonder and ask a lot of questions. It's like something out of an old story, revealing that there might be more to our world than we ever imagined. 
This wasn't just a small finding, it was something huge, something that made people think about history and the Earth in new ways. It's not just the experts who are interested. This mystery has started to pop up in TV shows and is being talked about by people who have seen or experienced unusual things, even those who have been in wars and seen a lot. This Alaskan mystery isn't just a passing curiosity. It's a puzzle that has pieces from all over the world. It makes us question what we know about ancient civilizations and whether we're really the first to discover or invent things. Could there have been others, long before us, who knew secrets about the Earth and its energy? The idea that there's a hidden pyramid under the ice, possibly built with knowledge or technology we can't even understand, is thrilling. It suggests that our planet has stories and secrets waiting to be discovered that could change everything we know about history, science, and maybe even the stars above us. Individuals with the special skill of remote viewing, which allows them to see places and events from a distance, have been focusing their attention on a fascinating puzzle in Alaska. They are attempting to learn more about this mystery without being physically present. The accounts they provide bring an additional element of fascination, hinting that what lies under Alaska's icy surface might be even more important and enigmatic than we first thought. It's a reflection of really acknowledging the, the value of the culture of the people of Alaska, you know, the first peoples of Alaska. This intriguing finding encourages not only experts, but also the general public to engage in speculation and formulate theories about the ancient past. These theories often include ideas about long-gone advanced civilizations or even interactions with creatures from other planets. Pat Price was a key person in remote viewing, a method to see faraway places in one's mind. He worked with the CIA on a project. And controversy swirling around for decades as to some sort of secret underground potential alien base. One place he viewed was Mount Hayes in Alaska. Price said he saw a large group of aliens living inside the mountain. These aliens looked a bit like people but had different eyes and insides. The fact that the CIA was involved in this is very interesting. It makes people wonder if they know about aliens on Earth. Price also said these aliens could change or control what people think. This idea is both fascinating and a little scary. In addition to these stories, there have been many digs in Alaska where scientists have found old things and signs that people who knew a lot once lived there. For example, they found graves of babies that are 11,500 years old and things like grass items made by the Alutik people over 3,000 years ago. These things show that people have lived in Alaska for a very long time and that these early people were quite smart. Another interesting thing about Alaska's old past is the strange pictures carved into rocks on Petroglyph Beach in Wrangell. These carvings are some of the best examples of art made by the original people. They make us wonder more about the old people of Alaska and if they had anything to do with beings from other planets. They also found a very well-kept wooden bow from the late 16th century in Lake Clark National Park. This shows that the Native American tribes in southwestern Alaska were very good at making things and hunting. These things they made suggest they knew a lot about how to use tools and understood their world well. It might even mean they had links to other smart civilizations or maybe even beings from other planets. Totem poles are a big part of the culture of Native Alaskans. They are big and made from tree trunks. They're just about all as equally as important as the next guy, and you know, the, the guy on the bottom supporting everything else above him, so... They are not just art, but also tell stories about the past. These poles might have clues about the old civilizations, what they thought about the world, and if they met beings from other planets. Now, the Black Pyramid is not the only mystery in the world. Chapter 5. Mount McKinley Nuclear Test In the vast, icy wilderness of Alaska, under the huge and impressive Mount McKinley, there's a secret that's as old as the Earth itself. This secret, a mysterious sight, was hidden from everyone until something totally unexpected happened. After China did a nuclear test, something that seemed totally unrelated, it somehow managed to rip open the Earth's surface. What was discovered because of that 
has caught the attention of all sorts of people from different backgrounds. People who work in the military, experienced reporters, curious engineers, and even those with a special talent called remote viewing. This talent allows them to see places and things far away without being there physically. The discovery made people wonder and ask a lot of questions. It's like something out of an old story, revealing that there might be more to our world than we ever imagined. This wasn't just a small finding, it was something huge, something that made people think about history and the Earth in new ways. It's not just the experts who are interested. This mystery has started to pop up in TV shows and is being talked about by people who have seen or experienced unusual things, even those who have been in wars and seen a lot. This Alaskan mystery isn't just a passing curiosity. It's a puzzle that has pieces from all over the world. It makes us question what we know about ancient civilizations and whether we're really the first to discover or invent things. Could there have been others, long before us, who knew secrets about the Earth and its energy? The idea that there's a hidden pyramid under the ice, possibly built with knowledge or technology we can't even understand, is thrilling. It suggests that our planet has stories and secrets waiting to be discovered that could change everything we know about history, science, and maybe even the stars above us. Individuals with the special skill of remote viewing, which allows them to see places and events from a distance, have been focusing their attention on a fascinating puzzle in Alaska. They are attempting to learn more about this mystery without being physically present. The accounts they provide bring an additional element of fascination, hinting that what lies under Alaska's icy surface might be even more important and enigmatic than we first thought. This intriguing finding encourages not only experts, but also the general public to engage in speculation and formulate theories about the ancient past. These theories often include ideas about long-gone advanced civilizations or even interactions with creatures from other planets. Pat Price was a key person in remote viewing, a method to see faraway places in one's mind. He worked with the CIA on a project. One place he viewed was Mount Hayes in Alaska. Price said he saw a large group of aliens living inside the mountain. These aliens looked a bit like people but had different eyes and insides. The fact that the CIA was involved in this is very interesting. It makes people wonder if they know about aliens on Earth. Price also said these aliens could change or control what people think. This idea is both fascinating and a little scary. In addition to these stories, there have been many digs in Alaska where scientists have found old things and signs that people who knew a lot once lived there. For example, they found graves of babies that are 11,500 years old and things like grass items made by the Alutik people over 3,000 years ago. These things show that people have lived in Alaska for a very long time and that these early people were quite smart. Another interesting thing about Alaska's old past is the strange pictures carved into rocks on Petroglyph Beach in Wrangell. These carvings are some of the best examples of art made by the original people. They make us wonder more about the old people of Alaska and if they had anything to do with beings from other planets. They also found a very well-kept wooden bow from the late 16th century in Lake Clark National Park. This shows that the Native American tribes in southwestern Alaska were very good at making things and hunting. These things they made suggest they knew a lot about how to use tools and understood their world well. It might even mean they had links to other smart civilizations or maybe even beings from other planets. Totem poles are a big part of the culture of native Alaskans. They are big and made from tree trunks. They are not just art, but also tell stories about the past. These poles might have clues about the old civilizations, what they thought about the world, and if they met beings from other planets. Now the Black Pyramid is not the only mystery in the world. Pyramids are mysterious all over the world, not just in Egypt and Mexico. In China, there are pyramids too, but most people can't go see them. They're hidden under plants. This shows that many ancient cultures might have known how to build pyramids. In Indonesia, they've also found pyramids recently. These pyramids, 
often hidden and mysterious, show that ancient people were really good at building and knew a lot about shapes and construction. It seems like there was a big, connected world in the past, where people shared ideas and ways of doing things over long distances. As we explore more, we start to question what we know about human history. Could these pyramids be from an ancient culture that survived a huge disaster? Maybe they built these structures to save their knowledge. Some people even think these builders were from the legendary Atlantis, who escaped a big flood and shared their knowledge in different ancient places. Looking into these pyramids and their underground paths is like traveling across countries and back in time. It makes us question what we think we know about ancient people, their skills, and how cultures worldwide might be connected. These old structures are like silent guards keeping secrets from a long lost time. But as we find and study more rooms, map more tunnels, and track more muons, we get closer to solving the mystery of these amazing buildings. They invite us to keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep being amazed by the ancient world. Is the Alaskan Black Pyramid a mere conspiracy theory? Or is there something more, perhaps even something China is hiding? Tell us what you're thinking and remember to like and subscribe for more.